Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to place two images side by side in your website. So here you can see we have these two images and when we hover over any of these images, we have the description of the image over here and we can see we have a title and some text. And when we hover over the other image, we have the description and the title for the other image. Now this can be really useful if you are creating a comparison post. For example, if you are comparing one product to the other, then you can have the images of those products over here and then type some of the information about those products over here. So I'll show you how to design this whole thing from scratch. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have created a project called Comparison Images and in that we have a folder called Images and in that we have the two images that we're going to use in this project. And I'm using this code editor called VS Code to write the code. So let's start by creating an HTML file. So let's click on new file and I'll just type index.html and let's create one more file called style.css. Alright, so let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab and here I'll just type style.css. Let's start by creating a division to hold everything. So I'll just create a division with a class of images container. Now let's create a division with a class of image and let's add the image over here. So I'll just type img and press tab. And in the SRC, I'll just type images slash and uh, we have these two images over here. So let's select the first image. And after the image, we'll create a division with the class of description. So I'll just type description over here. And in the description, we need to have a heading and uh, let's type title one over here. And then we'll have a paragraph. So I'll just type P and I'll just type some random text over here. All right, that's it with the first image. Let's copy this and paste it one more time. And this is the second image. So let's change this to 2.jpg and we'll also change this title. All right, that's it with the HTML. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So you can just search for Live Server over here and install it. And once you install it, you can just right click over here and click on Open with Live Server. This is how our design looks right now. We have the images and we have the title and the paragraph and the same with the other image. Now let's style this using CSS. So let's go to style.css and first of all, let's target the outer division, which is images container. So let's type dot images container and we'll have a max width of 700 pixels and uh, we'll also have a height of 500 pixels. Right now we cannot see any difference in our design that's because uh, the size of the image is too big so let's type images container img and this will target all the images so let's set the width of the image to 100 percent of the parent and we'll also bring everything to the center so here i'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and for left and right we'll just type auto now it brings everything to the center I think for top and bottom we will have some margin as well so I'll just type 32 pixels. Alright now the next thing we need to do is we have to have these images one next to the other. So for that we can just type display of flex in the images container and now we can see both the images are one next to the other. We'll also add a border so I'll just type border of two pixels solid and dark gray and now we will also set the height of the image to 100%. So let's type height 100% and now because we added the height we can see that the images are stretched. So to resolve that we can just type object fit and we'll set it to cover. And now we can see that the aspect ratio of the image is correct. Now when you're actually using this in your website you can create images with this dimension over here and then you can see the images perfectly fit over here. All right now the next thing we'll do is uh, we will style this description. So let's type images container description. Now we have to position this description relative to the image. So here we can see we have this division with the class of image and in that we have the description. So we'll set a position of relative to the image so that we can position this description relative to this image. So let's type images container and image 
and I'll just type position relative and for the description we'll just type position absolute and we'll set the bottom position to 0 and now we can see that our description is positioned correctly in the image. Let's add some more styles over here so I'll just type background color of dark gray and the color of the text to white. Let's also add some padding so I'll just type padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and we'll also have a little bit of box shadow at the top so let's type box shadow and we'll type 0 negative 3 pixels 3 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 now you can also change the font if you want by just typing font family and just type the font name over here but I'll just leave the font as it is so whatever font we have for the post will be applied to this text we'll also add a different color to the heading so let's type images container description h2 and let's set the color to 50EBFF right now the next thing we need to do is hide the description so we don't want to display it at the beginning so we'll just set the bottom position to negative 180 pixels and we'll also set the opacity to 0 and when we hover over the image we want the description to be displayed so let's type images container image colon hover dot description and when we hover over the image we want the opacity to be set back to 1 and the bottom position to be set to 0 now let's hover over this and we can see that the description is being displayed let's also add a smooth transition so I'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds so now let's hover over the image and we can see that the description is being displayed and we also have the transition but we can see that it is being displayed even while it is uh, coming up so for that we can just use a property called overflow so here in the image I'll just type overflow hidden now whatever is outside the image division will not be seen so let's hover over this and now we can see that everything is working alright now the last thing we need to do is when we hover over these images we want the image to scale up a little bit so let's add a hover effect for that as well so I'll just type images container image colon hover img and let's type transform scale of 1.1 and we'll also add a smooth transition for the image so let's go over here to img and let's type transition of all to 400 milliseconds now let's hover over the images and we can see that everything is working all right so that's basically it with our design this is how you place two images side by side in your website now in the next video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your wordpress websites so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day